Welcome back to the program. The fashion industry generates billions and billions of dollars worldwide. The latest trends, the latest designs being celebrated on the runway and in high-end retail stores. But after the glitz and the glamour is done, the industry accounts for enormous amounts of waste. A lot of these worn pieces is end up in the landfill. In Kenya, though, Africa Collect Textile is intent on reversing the fate of textile waste through upcycling denim and turning them into carpets. CGTN's Beryl Oro has that story on Grassroots. In 2018, Kenya imported about 176,000 tons of textile for the second-hand clothes market to fit the demand for Western fashion. But not all textile found at the market is made to last, and this leads to textile waste. Yes, they're collecting stuff, they're using stuff, and it ends up in Africa. Of course, it has created jobs in Africa, like for example, in Gepamba market, Totoi market. But at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves, what happens then uh, once the textiles are used here locally? And of course, the assumption it ends up in either in Dandora or within rivers and lakes. The burden of textile waste in Africa is an inescapable reality. With ill-equipped and in many cases poorly funded garbage collection systems, most textile waste ends up in landfills. Africa Collect Textile is attempting to short circuit this. This is one of our collection centers. It's, it's at two grapes, friends and friends, whereby we have placed our collection containers, as you can see. And our main purpose here is to provide what we call like conveniency, a strategic point to the people who live within Kilimani or within the vicinity of Kilimani so that they can be able to come and donate their used textiles and food anonymously. The pandemic had a direct impact on textile donation and people's ability to access drop-off points. This led to a change in the collection model. We started telling people that we can also do what we call like door-to-door -door pickup, which has really picked up over the last six months. Africa Collect Textile then delivers the sorted denim to Weaver's Worth. Founder of the organization, Rose Murphy has hired several women weavers to support the growing project. As a pioneer collaborator with Africa Collect Textile, every good product is critical to cement a positive local market response. Sometimes the, 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 the customers find, sometimes are not sure we will get there. But as we know, we try things out slowly until we get there, until we manage to do it. The upcycling project currently utilizes denim and khaki material. When it comes to the fact that you can utilize it in a way like this to make a carpet, it's very exciting and acceptable. However, the team is seeking support to avoid downcycling the other textile waste that cannot be repurposed. At the moment, we are working with the Engineers Without Borders, Netherlands. It's still uh, it's in the process. We are trying to develop a machine uh, like for a local problem, for a local solution whereby all the textile that cannot be reused again, for example, that is torn, is ripped, and it doesn't have any kind of purpose. We want to come up with material that is homogeneous, fluffy, and lightweight, and can be used now for pillow filling or sofa set filling or in an even construction industry. The sale of the carpets has earned a market in Euro. We already have a, a distributing company that deals with upcycling, selling of upcycling products. It's called Nick and Mick. They were interested with our, with our rugs and they would like to distribute it the whole of the, the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg. That means we cannot sell that rug even directly to, to the countries like Netherlands. It is said the beauty of denim is in its versatility. And thanks to Africa Collect Textile, every piece of denim can be repurposed to get a new lease of life, this time to dress the home. Beryl Oro, CGTN.